Oh, oh. My name, uh, my Ojibwe, my name is Bear Chief. I'm Bear Clan. And I'm from where the river widens, a Sagatong. And I'm, uh, I'm honored to be here today uh, to honor Abatash uh, Tatamikwe uh, from, from Long Plain for her work uh, uh, with, uh, with this idea, uh, this concept of this. It's, it's honorable work. This, this idea of reconciliation. So I got, oh yeah, no, the end. The work is hard, and Anish can 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 do it. Because I'm Anish Nabek, because our our people, uh, and well, uh, Anish Nabek is it. Our people all all across this country, and we have to go check again. And the uh, uh, really uh, are struggling with this idea or with the term. What does it mean? End for for us, the word itself, the stop, in and done, the stop, uh, these bad thoughts, and it's uh, it's it's telling your mind to stop the bad thoughts, and when anytime you attach, uh, when it's an action, so our understanding of uh, reconciliation, wanting to stop uh, these bad thoughts and to start uh, uh, walking uh, walking the thought. It's about respect. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a difficult thing. And uh, the, the onus is on our people to, uh, uh, it seems, uh, the onus is on our people to, uh, to reach out and to, uh, uh, yeah, to reach out and, and uh, show what what this means to us. But I think, uh, uh, this reconciliation, I mean, there's two. There's two sides to the equation, and uh, but there's two sides. Uh, not that I want to be uh, uh, create division or talk about division, but there's a there's a divide. And so what this lady, away after she me quick is working with, is to, is to bridge, is to bridge these two worlds. Be aware. Anishinaabe and Hinduism, and it's our uh, the world views are different, completely different. And uh, what she uh, what she brings to uh, your circles, I think it's it's pretty profound, it's pretty special. But she speaks of reconciliation. You know, she speaks of it, and she believes it in her heart. And. Uh, I've had the opportunity of listening to listening to to uh, you know, for a couple of years, and I, I know that uh, she feels that. So uh, when she asked uh, for me to come uh, and be part of this, uh, of course uh, I agreed. But I also didn't know I was going to do. Uh, uh, we uh, meet the ceremony. I thought I just thought I would be a guest. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, Erica, Eric Jagdson, Moose River. Uh, he and I uh, do a lot of uh, do a lot of things together uh, in terms of ceremony, in terms of uh, sharing the uh, Namagewan our teachings, uh, our Anitukewan our, our ceremony, and uh, this man. Speaks with good heart. He does things in a good way. He sees himself uh, uh, as a helper, much like I do. You know, we don't come here with any kind of uh, uh, preconceived, uh, inflated ideas about who we are. The Busenimun Anish, because humility is a uh, Busenimun. 
Chicago, it's very important. And uh, that's the place we come from. And his wife uh, is here as, as well, Natalie. Uh, she's actually from Sagaton. She's actually uh, my first cousin. So uh, she's here as well. And they, uh, you know, together, you know, they've, uh, they walk the, uh, 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 the ceremony route. Oh, uh, yeah, Nishidabi Meek, you know, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Nishidabi route, the rest of the more specific. So it's really, uh, it's really an important, uh, the ceremony is very important because what you're doing is the Wichita clan, these uh, strong heart women, these four women will be lifting her because that's their responsibility. That's one of the responsibilities of the Wichita Quake in our, in our circle, in our clans, in our community, in our nation. They have the responsibility for uh, for acknowledging that uh, that type of uh, that type of special work. So the Kwichita we each have uh, medicine, uh, tobacco time. We are honored the the ceremony is honoring them as well and recognizing their work in uh, lifting her up. And when we say Team Vanilla, uh, we say you're looking up your your Taking this lady, you're taking her to a special place, and you're by lifting her, you, uh, you're showing respect. And not she, and she's not a bit. Also, uh, the other thing, uh, you know, leadership has been, uh, there's been a lot of disinformation, misinformation about leadership. Like, uh, you have, uh, you have the term, Ugima, uh, Ugima, okay? Uh, I was an Indian Act chief in Sagi for my community for many years. I never saw myself as a Imam, eh? because this leadership uh, position, uh, well, you know, being an Indian Act chief, you're being elected under one of the most oppressive and repressive uh, uh, pieces of legislation that Canada has ever imposed on our people. So uh, this lady, where we're showing her our respect for her and we're lifting her up with the greatest esteem that we can have in our hearts. Be aware that's what uh, uh, that's the uh, that's the the original term the original meaning or the original term and the original meaning of the term is uh, to show esteem or to be esteemed and uh, so we're acknowledging her place in our circle I like my thoughts in circle because I think uh, well, I'm, I'm part of this uh, I'm part of this land so uh, uh, we start with that but there also I think uh, uh, there has to be uh, some words uh, spoken by Nicole Thank you. Hello, my name is Nicole Lavely, and I'm sunny in the sunlight, and I am honored to represent the Indigenous Leadership Circle and to be your MC today. We'd like to start this event by acknowledging that ACU operates on Treaty 1 land, homeland of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Ojibwe, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and in the heart of the Métis Nation. In Thompson and Gillum, we operate on Treaty 5 land. The Indigenous Leadership Circle gives thanks to everyone for joining us today for this important ceremony at this beautiful lodge, and we are very thankful for this amazing weather. The site was chosen for the ceremony as this is uh, the lodge's structure is based on traditional ways of learning, relationship with, relationships with the land, medicines, peace, history, and protection. We give thanks to Negan Sinclair for this work on the development of this site. We are here today to honor Kristen Whitmicki, ACU employee and Indigenous Leadership Circle member in a special blanket ceremony. Kirsten was one of the founding members of the Assiniboine Credit Union's Indigenous Leadership Circle, and we give much thanks to Kirsten as we may not have been on this path of reconciliation without her leadership. We would like to honor Kirsten as a third generation residential school survivor. Her Kukum, Rosie Harris, born Rosie Beauchamp, referred by everyone as Rosie Kuei, 
attended Porter's of Prairie Residential School. Rosie Quay sadly passed away in 2008. Kirsten, today we honor you and your cookum with the Every Child Matters Blanket, created with love by ACU employees. The making of this quilt was in response to the disclosure and grim news of 215 unmarked graves at a, at a formal residential school that propelled a Canada-wide awareness of residential schools in Canada. This quilt is a symbol of healing and is an important step in ACU's reconciliation journey. We glitch, Kristen. At this time, I would also like to take a moment of silence to remember all the victims, survivors, missing spirits of the Canadian Indian residential school systems. We'd also like to give thanks to Jerry Fontaine for leading us in ceremony today. Jerry, we hope that you will accept this tobacco as a token of our appreciation for everything that you are going to do. When we sing this song, we sing it to lift our spirits, to lift us so we don't live in that, that sad, sad life. Say me much and thank you for listening. Oh. Woo!
That song I sang is uh, for the, when the sun rises and when the sun's rising, there's a beautiful, there's a woman sitting there as the sun's rising. And when she sounds, when she sings, she sounds so beautiful. That's what this song is, is sung for, the, for a woman's spirit and for Mother Earth when she comes up. So I say miigwech, we're singing those songs. Miigwech. Hey. Thank you everybody for coming. Um, we are going to be now moving to the second floor to remain for our feet. We ask that um, we've all given first hugs. If you'd like to give more hugs and, and fist pump whatever you guys are comfortable with, that would be uh, amazing. Thank you for everybody um, that was part of the ceremony today. Um, and when we leave the lodge, we ask that you leave with your hands together, palms open, um, and that is basically symbolizing that you're leaving all your positive and amazing uh, energy with Kirsten on this day for her. Miigwech. Oh, Thank miigwech. you, everybody.